We're going to go ahead and get the program started, and I'm going to turn the program over to Council Chair Jessica Mackey. Good morning, everyone. Welcome, and thank you so much for being here as we break ground today. And with the noise in the background, this truly is a groundbreaking of sorts. Uh, there's a lot going on out here, but we love to see our transportation penny at work and we thank you for coming out. We're here today to celebrate the start of construction on a new sidewalk that will create safe passage for pedestrians to area neighborhoods, schools, and local commerce from North Main Street to Broad River Road. This project is also considered a neighborhood improvement project and there's a lot of good reasons that it's called that. In addition to creating a sidewalk for the neighborhood, the scope of this project includes enhancing driveways along the walkway, building new drainage structures, and relocating water lines. All these improvements are designed to enhance transportation and quality of life for residents in Richland County. None of this would be possible without all of you here today and your support of the Transportation Penny. Back in 2012, Communities we serve saw the need to improve transportation through this great county and voted to adopt the penny sales tax. I want to say to all of our residents that your penny is hard at work. It's not only filling transportation needs and improving the infrastructure in place, but also it's amplifying the beauty and vibrancy of our communities. I want to thank and recognize our community partners our project designers, our transportation penny department, and all of those who continue to support these efforts. And some of those important people are here with us today, including City Councilwoman Tina Herbert. I'd also like to take the time to introduce Councilman Paul Livingston so he can provide a few additional remarks. Councilman Livingston. Good morning. You see a happy camper here as a county council member, I can tell you that. Uh, and if you're attending a lot of those community meetings with me in reference to this project, you know exactly what I mean. Again, um, let me thank um, Chairwoman Mackey. I too am honored and excited uh, to be with you today for the groundbreaking for this important project. A perfect example of our penny at work. Please allow, please allow me to first start by thanking the North Columbia communities that played a significant role in making sure I stay on top of this particular project. And particularly the um, Hyde Park and, and Kenan Terrace communities. I can tell you, if, if I can count the number of meetings that I attended when this item came up, I'd be a wealthy man. But we know that this project, you know, had many challenges and, 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 and also cost factors. So we had to weather the storm for this project, that's why it took so long. And, and with that being said, I want to take this opportunity to just thank, thank those communities along this quarter for their support and patience with this particular project, because I know it took some patience because of the timing. This Sunset Project and all the uh, community enhancements Chairwoman Mackey mentioned earlier are important. Together we will um, safely um, connect, you know, the residents of this magnificent area. This will um, be the first county project actually done with this significant amount of work uh, to create this safe, safe opportunity for our uh, community, the pedestrian access um, for many that's, that's very much needed. Now, when I think about this particular project, I think about a revival. Because I think revival is an appropriate word for the word to describe what's happening here. This transportation planning project builds on the rebirth, in my opinion, of North Maine. You know, think about the recent improvements, um, like the North Maine uh, road improvements and street lighting. Think about um, the renovation here on River Drive. Think about the wonderful opportunity for a multi-complex that's being, being built right here on this particular property. That's a revitalization for this particular community in North Maine. 
So on behalf of Richland County Council, thank you for supporting this project. Thank you for supporting, supporting all of what we do in the North Main uh, Street area here. Uh, and also, um, um, thank you for your uh, continued um, efforts in, in working with us on this. And this is clearly not the end for our wonderful North Main, um, North Main community. Now let me um, uh, ask um, if she doesn't mind uh, Ms. Tina Herbert to come back and make a few comments. And after Ms. Herbert, you'll hear from Richmond County Director of Transportation, Mr. Mike Maloney. Thank you, Mr. Livingston. Um, I too am just as excited um, as you all are about today because what you see behind us, um, that is a paving project. Then we have our sidewalk and infrastructure um, project coming. This project here on this property is a $93 million project. This is all investment into North Columbia, and I'm grateful. I am grateful for the investments. Um, I, am, I was a new council person when I started attending these neighborhood meetings, Mr. Livingston. Um, and the first question I think I got was, and what's the status of the sidewalk on Sunset? And can, if you could imagine, I didn't even know what it was. So, but I got to work and started making contacts with the county folks. Um, and so I too am glad to see the project come to fruition. Um, I look forward also to seeing the benefits and the results that come from it. Um, I'm a big advocate for sidewalks, you all, because we want to be able to get outside, get a little more exercise, but walk safely. Um, so I'm really excited about that and the connectivity that it's going to provide. So I'm here to say thank you and thank you for your patience. I'm speaking on behalf of the neighborhoods, if, if that's okay. Um, Hyatt Park, Keenan Terrace, and Earlwood. Um, I am excited about it, look forward to it, and glad to have you all here. And thank you all for your commitment and support. I wanna, I'm Mike Maloney, Director of Public Works, and I just want to thank uh, Mr. Brown, uh, our county administrator, and our council members that are here and, and not here today, but that had supported the, this project. and the transportation penny throughout all of its projects. Our project manager for this is Michael Green. Michael Green is here in the audience and uh, he's responsible for delivering this project and uh, his team included uh, Mead and Hunt and uh, Cherokee Construction will be starting this project in April. You're seeing a paving project going on right now. Uh, the sidewalk project will include uh, from uh, the end of Broad River Road all the way to the block off of North Main Street where the behind the Burger King out there. Um, this project will carry to that point where there's an existing sidewalk. You'll see there's some existing sidewalk here uh, where this is the other end of the project. So essentially connecting the Broad River Com Commercial District to the North Main Commercial District and all the neighborhoods in between. Uh, it's a great pedestrian uh, project and I can understand why there was such a call for it. This project uh, will be delivered in uh, just under one year uh, and be completed. Uh, so we are uh, starting it in April and will be uh, in construction until the following April. Uh, what we have going on that um, was mentioned with water lines are some uh, larger diameter and supply of potable water to the community that will be relocated into new mains. Uh, retaining walls will be constructed. As you drive this road, you'll notice there's various uh, terrain changes alongside the road and you need to make room for a sidewalk. So you'll be seeing retaining walls and shoring going in for that. And then curb and gutter is important. So if you're walking on a sidewalk, you wanna make sure there's a grade separation of at least six inches to feel safe and be safe from the, the traffic on the roadway. So that'll be going in. So this entire road, side of the road, will be getting uh, upgraded with curb and gutter, sidewalk, and storm sewer. Uh, you need the storm sewer in there to ensure that that sidewalk is travelable throughout all weather conditions. Thank you very much. <laughs>